Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Here we are again. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and things are going well with you. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Um, maybe you're getting ready for work at this point. Uh, some of you say, I don't work any longer. Um, but I'm going to remind you of something today that we are all workers in the field. And so there is something for us to do. In chapter 10 of the book of Luke, Starting with verse 1, After these things the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come. Therefore he said unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. There's a job for us to do. There are people all around us that are hurting. We as Christians, as believers today, if you are one, I suppose you probably are, you're watching this. We claim to have the greatest thing known to man, that is salvation through uh, the blood of Christ. That is the grace of God has been extended to us. We have been born again. We never claim to not have any troubles or trials because we know we do have and we always will have things uh, that are there that are difficult for us to go through, no doubt. But at least through those times, we have the Lord Jesus Christ. If you act today as you did before your conversion, people might not see much difference. But the difference comes when trial and tribulation come and yes it hurts and yes it's sad and yes but you know that the Lord is with you and so in trying to relate that to others uh, they will watch your life I'm not saying to you act like something you aren't but I am saying to you remember who you are you are a child of the King you are a son or daughter of the Lord Jesus Christ you can walk in a direction that when others see that, it would give them something to desire from you. They wouldn't see your good works and glorify you, but they would see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You do have a job to do today. If it's to get out and to witness to others, if it is to share others through social media, through telephone through uh, handwritten letters whatever it is there are people all around us that are lost and we need to witness to them now we cannot save them but we can witness to them and if the harvest truly is ready and the fields truly are white and Jesus says to pray that the Lord of the harvest would send laborers into the field then that should be me and you and let's don't Let's don't make him beg us to do what we should be willing to do already, right? I used to think we had all the time we need to plow the field and plant the seed. Now I realize the dark and sky say night is stealing on and while we wait it's growing late till day is gone. Say not tomorrow I'll hold to the plow. There's no time to borrow, it's summer now. The helpless millions reach out for mercy's hand, while God's still searching for someone to till the land. So many die 
never knowing why he came like fallen grain and we're all to blame yet in his nail scarred hands there is a deep to a land of abundant view and he seeks for you to join the few and work the feet say not tomorrow I'll hold you the plow there's no time Borrow. It's summer now. The helpless millions reach out for mercy's hand while God's still searching for someone to deal the land. Yes, God's still searching for someone to deal the land. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us, Lord. And I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord, for those that are out there who are lost, who do not know you, and maybe waiting. Little do we know, but maybe they're waiting for somebody to come and speak to them about um, life after this life and the things that really matter. And God, I pray that you will help us uh, not to be slack, God, but help us to be workers in the field, ready and willing to witness to others. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.